Hello everyone, welcome to my get together. My name is Aleka and today we're going to be working on the ultimate Greek meze platter. It is the best thing to serve a large crowd of people because a lot of the ingredients can be pulled straight out of your pantry or your fridge. There's no, it's some very minimal cooking required and it can serve as not just an appetizer but an entire meal. So your guests will definitely not go home hungry and they're going to leave trying some new things that most likely they've never tried before. So let's get started. So my first tip for you is find your largest serving platter, cutting board, or plate that you have in your kitchen. Something like a large cutting board like this guy. If you have a serving platter like this with handles on it, it's great because you can kind of transport it throughout the party. Another tip is to have a lot of little bowls available so that you can put your dips and all of the spreads that we're gonna use today in the bowl. Anything that you have to put your spreads Plus it creates all kinds of dimension on your board, which is what makes a beautiful platter beautiful. And then finally, the last tip for you is to have mini knives, spreaders, or spoons so that you can spread our spreads that we're gonna be putting on our board. Okay, now let's assemble our platter. If you wanna make a true traditional meze or Greek spread, these are most of the types of appetizers or uh, little nibbles that you're gonna see on a Greek type board. You wanna know how to make some of these spreads that we're going to lay on our platter, just check out some of the links below and you can get the recipe yourself. I'm going to first put my tzatziki sauce, which is a Greek cucumber yogurt sauce. It's probably gonna be the one spread that's gonna go the, be the quickest, so if you wanna put it in a larger bowl, you do that. The next thing is going to be our eggplant spread. This is a melizano salata. It's called, it's basically roasted eggplant with lots of garlic and it's super vegetarian friendly. Um, it's also vegan. You can check out that recipe in my blog as well. This feta spread is a spicy feta sauce, or I should say, I shouldn't say sauce because spreads are more spreadable rather than dippable. Um, it's got feta cheese, roasted red peppers, and a little of a little hot peppers in it along with a couple other things. The last thing on my board is a it's called a scordalia. It's a basically mashed potatoes with lots of garlic minus the cream and dairy. So this also is vegan, which is really cool. It's simple and it's really delicious. And it doesn't taste like mashed potatoes like you would think it would. If you wanna make this super fast, the tzatziki dip you can make on your own, or I got this dip straight from the store. So if you are kinda of short on time, this is really nice to have. And then we have eggplant spread. This one doesn't have any garlic in it, so you can easily add garlic and olive oil and make it delicious. So next I'm going to add some baby peppers and you can lay them anywhere on your platter that you want. Make them look like they kind of just fell in these pretty spots. Okay, next we're going to add our cucumbers. I get these little packs, they're perfect. They're seedless and they just, they have a very thin skin so you don't have to peel them and you can just serve them as is. So I'm gonna cut them. You can lay them here and then lay some over here too. Kind of spread out the colors. Next, we're going to add, let's do our domades. Okay, these, well these are actually called domadakia. They're basically mini stuffed grape leaves. So I'm just going to add them and it doesn't really matter, like I said, how you do this. You can kind of play with it as you go. Okay, I'm gonna try to spread it to the end if I can. Next, we can add our mini cherry tomatoes. So I'm gonna put it over here because I don't have anything red over here. Don't worry, we're gonna add more as we go. Next, let's add our mini meatballs, okay? So these are called kesteves. They are exactly what they translate to, mini meatballs. So we're just gonna kind of place these all over. Next, I'm going to add my feta cheese. Now, I like Dodoni feta. It's really, it's straight imported from Greece, so you know it's gonna be a good feta cheese. And I'm gonna put just the big old hunk of feta right on the cutting board there. Let's add our olives. What's a meze board without some Kalamata olives? 
Next, green olives. These are not Greek olives, but guess what I found? I found feta cheese stuffed olives. I'm gonna add them right here. We're going to add some banana peppers. Now I add these because they're a little bit spicy and peppers are definitely a Greek ingredient used a lot. Spiciness because like I said, it's nice to add some heat to a board like this. Next, I'm going to add marinated artichoke hearts. They are delicious, they're really healthy, and they're easy to find in the store in jars. Don't be afraid to load up your board. You want it to look almost to the point that it's overflowing, but not overflowing. We're almost finished assembling our board. The last but most important part is the pita bread. First thing, do not get the pocket pita. When it comes out of the package, it's kind of bland looking, right? Here's a tip. Toss this over top of, directly over top of your stove with the fire on and use some tongs and flip it around a couple times. And doing that will give the pita those beautiful charred marks that not only make it look more appetizing, but make it taste better. I mean, which one would you eat? <laughs> Let's chop it up into triangles and we can add our pita wherever it fits around your board. One ingredient that's super important and it's roasted red peppers. Chop them up into small pieces so that your guests can add to their feta cheese on top of the pita. You put a little bit of feta, a little bit of roasted red peppers. It's like the perfect bite. And then finally, we're going to add something crunchy. I'm going to add breadsticks. And this is going to add some dimension to our board and some fun, you know, something else that's not so soft like the pita bread, something crunchy. Let's dazzle up some of these things on our board and make them look a little bit more Greek. Something we can do is drizzle some olive oil onto the feta cheese, drizzle some onto the potato spread, top a little bit of oregano, and then finally add your little cheese cutters. And that's it. I know it seems intimidating. It's just a lot of ingredients that you can haphazardly put on and it will come out beautiful every time. Your guests will love it. If you love entertaining and you want more tips and recipes from me, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. Happy hosting, everybody. Oppa!